I was sitting at my kitchen table, having a cup of coffee, reading my paper, and probably puffing on a cigarette. At 48, I had just started a new job. It was my day off, and I had lots of things on my to-do list that day. Having a massive heart attack was not one of them. I started feeling a tingling sensation in my neck and jaw, a feeling I had a couple of times over the last few days. I wondered, what's going on now? I don't have time for this. The sensation got stronger and I became clammy, sweaty, even though it was warm, breezy, sunny morning. Then my left arm began to feel heavy. I realized that I needed to get some help. I called my daughter who lived in an apartment across the hall. Her first reaction was, Mom, what's wrong? You look so gray. She immediately called 911. I felt so detached from the real world that when I heard the fire truck siren, I wondered, where's the fire? I had a massive cardiac arrest and coded for two minutes. During the 16 days in hospital, I worried about being away from my family and what would happen about my new job. Three months later, I had lost my job and my to-do list now only said, find a new way to survive. I joined a cardiac support group, but I was only one of two young women there, and it didn't seem to meet my needs. Women of my age were not supposed to have heart attacks. Diane, the other youngster, and I decided to set up a woman-to-women -woman special interest group, which is still going today. With my heart issues and other health problems, I have frequent medical appointments, but there are many other items on my to-do list these days that matter more to me. I get to spend time with my daughter and my friends. I spend a lot of time with my church family, which I call my love and support network. I am also an active patient advisor, a member of a cardiovascular strategic clinical network, and at 74, completed a university course to become a patient and community engagement researcher. My life isn't just about medical appointments and being a patient. There is life after a major event like a heart attack and I still have much to do.